founder and CEO of Discovery. Put your hands together to welcome Amos. Thank you. Hi, uh, good afternoon. I am Amos Huang. Uh, I'm CEO of the Discovery. Uh, if you find something you like, you want to buy it, how long will you take? How long will you consider to have it? Discovery want to capture this moment and find the best deal for you. Mobile search advertising is a huge business. Like Google uh, has 20 or 30 percent revenue from a mobile search advertising. But there is still a little problem. It's still hard to connect offline product or media to online shopping. So I guess most of you have uh, searched some product on your mobile phone, right? Uh, but it takes time. You need to uh, type color, spec, uh, description, something like that. So uh, our, our solution, just snap. Then find the best deal for you, okay? So here's some of our uh, real case to explain how it works. We make TV shopping smarter. And we, we reinvent re the in-store shopping experience. And we want to also connect the online and offline marketing. So in the future, we can image how video search can change our life. So we just want to use uh, uh, image recognition to find the product you like or you want to buy it for you. And our business now is very simple. So when you scan the product and upload uh, image to our server, we will compare the image and our image database and find the product. Then we will also check our affiliate partner's product then provide the best deal for you. We call it AD image model. It's just like a Google AdWords. And so we are, now, we are not only provide the product information, but also the best deal for you. Compared to other uh, competitors uh, in this field, uh, we are more focusing on the mobile side, like uh, gesture, sensor, Machine learning, even the offline search engine. I mean, uh, we can search without internet connection. Here is our, our client. We open our API to them, uh, for them to integrate our API into their service. So you can see most of them are the number one company in, in their industry. Thus, uh, we start monetizing uh, last year and break even. So you can see uh, we grow rapidly in Q4. And in this year, we are targeting uh, uh, like Weibo or more my, uh, mobile commerce side. Uh, we have a very strong R&D team. Uh, we have published certified international research paper and applied 10 patterns. And uh, those patterns are uh, on the machine learning and image recognition. We also have an experienced BD and uh, marketing team uh, to uh, apply our success story into uh, different regions. In fact, uh, we co work, we already co work three years and try to uh, figure out the best. Uh, user experience for the consumer. So from OCR, from the image recognition, offline recognition, video recognition, even wearable like Google, Google, uh, Google Glass, we, we also uh, put in our search engine into the device. Uh, our success are uh, recognized by the Google, GMIC, or Intel APAC. So currently we, sorry, so currently, we want to we want to explore more bigger uh, market like China and Japan. So uh, we want to find a, a possible straight, uh, partner like you 
or possible uh, investor to help us to do that. So I want to use uh, this picture to share with you. We are still uh, advanced, advance our technology in search experience. So I, I believe in the future you can uh, wear your uh, smart glass and just snap, and we can find the best deal for you. Thank you. Thank you, Raymond. Judges, over to you. Can you explain a bit what your product really is? Are you selling technology, or are you into the e-commerce business? Uh, it's a SaaS platform. Uh, currently, we are a B2B model. So, uh, our client, I mean the enterprise, can rent our uh, service for their app or their service to for their consumer to scan a product then uh, be recognized by our server. Then I can tell the consumer which product you are interested in and then connect to their database. Provide more like uh, comments or ratings, price. Yeah. So for each e-commerce app, you'll be the visual search piece. Is that right? Yeah. And their consumers will then take images and you, it'll be their own catalog that you're going back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. And by the all that you need a pretty elaborated uh, database for, for the products, a pretty elaborated picture recognition. Yeah. So how do you make sure that the products are really being recognized properly? Um, it is very hard, in, in fact, if we want to, like, like Google, even Google, they released a Google uh, Goggles service two or three years ago. What they want to do is um, use their huge database, the algorithm to find, want, they want to find a general uh, algorithm to uh, understand everything. But I think it is possible now. So why we want to start by B2B model? Because we can collaborate with the different industry, like book or uh, cosmetics or some uh, other industry. Then we can uh, solve each problem in different industry and fine tune the algorithm and database. Then finally we can connect all the database. Yeah. Sorry, quick question. Um, obviously, in terms of, for example, book recognition, I think the technology is definitely a little bit simpler compared to, for example, if you snap someone, you know, like clothes, for example, right? That and but that is actually a, a big piece in the, uh, the whole uh, e-commerce market. So, in terms of accuracy, in terms of detecting the, uh, the clothing, like how accurate are you compared to some of the competitors? Because even you know, there are some competitors even here in Singapore as well. So, you comment on the accuracy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's an important issue. So, we have a three three types of resources to solve this problem. One is a uh, uh, machine. By our uh, computer, uh, can recognize the uh, product the consumer want. But another is uh, uh, crowdsourcing. We use people when they are scanned, and then we can track their log and refine uh, if we can, uh, we can uh, recognize it. And finally, we have a service team to maintain this service more stable. stable. Yeah. Thank you, Ramos. Thank you, judges. <laughs>